This is Mark Krikorian again. We are at the southern border, the Mexican border. This white uh, marker you see next to me is the first of, I believe, 276 boundary markers, the United States-Mexico boundary. And there are 276 more from here until the Pacific Ocean. Literally just behind me is the Rio Grande, uh, where it comes down and begins to mark the border of Texas with Mexico. So that's about 1,200 miles of border on the Rio Grande between the United States and Mexico. And there's roughly 800, 700 something miles of land border. And depending on how you count it, this is either the first or the last, either the beginning or the end of the land part of the border of US and Mexico. And this is actually also the place where the privately funded fence, the We Build the Wall project, happened and the wall and the and the fence you're seeing behind here which is just like the fences that the federal government itself builds is part of that project i'm not exactly sure how long it is i've heard it said it was a mile long and it's definitely something that was a way for people to express their frustration with the lack of border security whether it's a good idea or a bad idea it's here but this was all there was as far as border barriers go here until a couple of years ago. This is just a cable and it's a foot and a half high and this isn't stopping anybody from doing anything. So clearly the we build the wall people's structure is certainly more of an impediment than this. And I have no idea about the strength and quality of it and all that. I mean, it looks it's identical as far as I can tell to the federally built ones. But at the very least, what it does is direct people to go cross somewhere else and not here.